All right, today's daf is uh, Shkalim, daf Zion, Shkalim 7. Um, the Mishnah says that Moser Ani La'osa Ani, Moser HaMesim La'mesim, Moser HaMes the Yorshov. Let's say you collect money for a, a dead person, presumably to bury him and anything you need to uh, escort him uh, in his burial. Um, if you collect for Mesim, for general uh, a lot of dead people so then if there's extra money left over it's for other dead people what about if you uh moser have mace you collect for one dead person and there's extra money who does the, the money the leftover money go to so the tana comes as liorsha it goes to the orsham mayor omer moser have mace hey munach hashiav aliyah remayor says it's left over until aliyah comes reb nason omer moser have mace bonil nefesh al kibro that the leftover from the dead person, uh, from his funds, um, he used to build uh, a gravestone, an epitaph on his gravestone that says, obviously, uh, nice things about him. So, the Gemara says that, um, You collected for a dead person, <coughs> um, you thought he had no money, to pay for his own burial, presumably. And you find out he had funds. He says, Rabbi Yirmiya says that the extra money would go to his Yorshim. And in his discussion, who does it go to? But the conclusion of all the Amburahim seems to be that it goes, that it belongs to the dead person or his uh, estate. Um, later on in the Gemara, the Gemara says, "Rashim Galil Omer ain't osin nefashos l'sadikim, divreim hein hein zichrona." We don't build nefashos. We don't build uh, fancy uh, gravestones uh, for sadikim because they don't need to be remembered that way. They their their Torah that they said over in their lifetimes is their memory. A couple of questions on these Gemaras over here. Now, first of all. Um, how could we say over here that in the Mishnah, that if there's extra money left over being collected for a dead person, um, it belongs to his estate, and whether it goes to his Yarshim inheritors, or whether it goes to, uh, building uh, a fancier grave for him, why does it belong, if, he, if you're collecting for a dead person, we know there's a concept of, uh, a Kenyan of a Darash Lobala Olam, or a Kenyan Lid Darash Lobala Olam. Someone who's, uh, also you can't make a, a garrison for a dead person. A uh, person who's dead can't, can't make a garrison. He can't make kinyanim, he can't own things. And So how could it be? You collect the money for a dead person, it belongs to the dead person. How does it belong to the dead person? Everyone agrees it belongs to the dead person. The question is, what do you do with it? What's his best interest in it? That's one question. Second question is, in the Gemara, the Gemara says that if you made a mistake and you thought he, he had funds... He didn't have funds, and it turned out he had his own funds. You still end up using it for his estate, for the dead person's estate. Now we know there's a concept of of toast that kedusha toast. Uh, you make kedushin uh, by the mistake. You thought it was one person. You thought it was a kohen. It ended up being a levy. It's not a good kedushin. And the same thing by hektish. So why should it belong to the dead person or his estate? And the third question is. Rishon Lilo says, "Ain't osin nefashos as hadikim." Now, presumably, he's talking about uh, even in our case in our Mishnah, where we're talking about where you collected money for a dead person. Now, according to Rav Nasan, he says that you bone lo nefesh al kivro that you would build something fancy on his gravestone. So, what's the difference? Why is hadikim different? Um, if a normal dead person would want this, so how could we assume that all Sadiqim wouldn't want this? They wouldn't want to have a fancier headstone, a fancier gravestone. In order to answer these questions, I want to say a new idea over here, that when you're collecting money for the dead person, it's not money that's going towards the dead person. The money is a zecher, it's a memorial for the dead person. It's not, it's not that you're collecting it belongs to the dead person or to his family. It's money given over uh, for a memory for the tzaddik, when a, for a person when he dies. What what generally people give things for ilu nishmas for for people that die, for their relatives they learn things for them. 
question is, what, what really are you accomplishing over here when you're learning something or you're doing a mitzvah for a dead person? The person already died. The Malach Mavis already won. How could you do, how could you fix him? How could you do better in the grave? <clears throat> the answer is that the truth is you can't really fix yourself after, and no one could fix you after you died. Once you die, that's it. The question is, it's, it's only a, a limud, it's a, a, it's something that we can learn from for the rest of our, for the living people, for us that remain living. The living people, we have to discuss what is the best thing to do with that money. And according to one of the opinions is uh, to build a tzion, to build a, um, a nefesh al-kibro, to build a, a fancy epitaph, a grave, a gravestone in order to remember him better, to say positive things about him, to learn for him, to daven for him, do things for this, because that's the Ilu Nishmas. The Ilu Nishmas not, doesn't mean that his Neshama should have a Aliyah. The Ilu Nishmas means that it should be a fixing. Eloi is a, should better, a bettering of Neshama, that we should learn how to better our Neshama. Sometimes, you know, we're all, we're all composed of, uh, get into the Kabbalah over here, but... Uh, we're all composed of a neshama, a nefesh, ruach, you know, ruach of personality, a uh, nefesh is a, you know, a life force, simple as a chayim, and uh, neshama is desire to do good. We're, we're composed of all these uh, disparate things, and we have to blend them in the right way, uh, you know, the right way to, to fix ourselves, and, you know, the way Hashem would want us to fix ourselves. And sometimes there's an overemphasis on one of these things, one of the nefesh or neshama or the ruach, and it gets to be a problem. So we do all these things, lele neshmaso, that it should teach us how to perfect our own neshamas. So that's what we're talking about over here. We're not talking about the money is not does not belong to the dead person. The money is we're trying to figure out. We have extra money now. What do we do uh, to show... Uh, how how to better uh, how to better uh, how this person could have corrected his life? This person could have done better. Do you go to the yard? Do you give it to the yarshim? Because um, maybe this person should have held on to more of his money, or do you give it to Yun Munach Shavaliyah? We're not sure. Or do you Bonelonev Shal Kivro that the person maybe should have you know been more positive about himself and spoken more positive things about himself and not been such an on of all the time. Um, and that's really the machlokas over here. The, ma- the machlokas is not, we're not, it doesn't belong to the dead person, it belongs to us, and we're trying to figure out the best way, thing to do with it. And that's also why that if there was a, a toast over here, you thought he uh, didn't have any money, and he had really had money, he still used the money for the mace, because it's not for the dead person, it's for us. And that would also answer the third question, that by Sadiqim, uh, again, the money doesn't belong to the tzaddik. Um, when the Gemara says, "Enos in the fashion tzaddikim divrei and hein hein zichronam," it's it's not necessarily telling you a shvach about tzaddikim. It's telling you sometimes tzaddikim um, have too much of this nefesh, too much of this uh, of this life force in them, and uh, you know it'll cause them to say things, a lot of uh, things which are. Um, which they say, which might be true, might not be true. And that's their remembrance. And Sadiqim, uh, they already accomplished this nefesh. We don't have to say any more things for them. We don't have to build a fancy gravestone for them. Their words are their, are their zeicher. And it's not fitting to use the money to make a gravestone for them.